Hi, my name is Laura Guthrie. I'm the on-site trainer here at Golden West. Yes. Today I have with me Buckeye. Yes. Tattoo KR1. Buckeye is actually an eight-month-old comfort retriever here from Golden Quest, and he has been in training for five days. We're gonna go ahead and go over in this video how he's been, uh, what he's been working on, um, and talk about some of his struggles, like the jumping. Um, that's his biggest behavior stuff right now. Is just he's so sociable and he loves attention so much that he tries to get it any way possible. And right now he has a bad habit of jumping. Um, it's not aggressive, and it's not. Um, it's not with all of his weight. He's definitely a little bit more gentle about jumping up, but still jumping up nonetheless. Yes. So I'm trying to catch him when he's not doing it. And if he gets off, yes, I'm rewarding him for it. Reason being is because I'm trying to go to reward his tree with just being in front of me, not jumping up on me. So when he does jump on me, I just stop. I just start ignoring him. I don't give him any kind of attention and I pull my arms away because he does have a habit of being a retriever and trying to put his mouth over you. Um, yes, good boy. So I try to catch him before that and just show him that he can get attention from me in other ways without having to jump. All right, buddy. He just wants attention all day. All day. He can do attention all day. Yes, he can. He's a sweetheart. He's swaying. Good boy. And a lot of that's to do with his energy right now, too. Um, he, he just got up from a nap. So... We're, we're very hyper. So we're just gonna go ahead and go right, go right do this stuff, right bud? Yes, there you go, good boy. Buckeye, sit. Oh yes, there you go, good boy, good sit, well done. You got it? You got it? Maybe try chewing it a little bit more, maybe that'll help. Yes, thank you. Catch. Yes, good boy. Well done. Sit. Yes. Stand. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. He's definitely very gentle about taking the treats from your hand, though. He licks them out, so that's nice as well. Um, but like I said, his jumping's a pretty big thing. Um, we have been working on it. Obviously, it just needs a lot more work, especially when he's in this hyper state of mind. Yes, good boy. Um, because he's a little bit older, sometimes it takes more, yes, it takes more consistency and, yes. And more exposures to the situation before he's gonna understand that all oh, it doesn't work anymore. Because obviously, when he was younger, I'm sure it did work. A lot of our staff, um, pop, pet, you know, pet on him when I know they pet on him. They pet on him when when he does jump because he was little. He was littler then, smaller then. Sounds better. Yes. So it's just gonna take him a little longer to get over that. And he's already doing a lot better. I know it doesn't look like it, but uh, trust me, it's it's gotten better. Um, because he used to, um, when he was a good distance away from me, he'd come running over to you and say hi and, like, um, hit you. And so he's gotten a lot more gentle about it, which is awesome. He's just so into people. So, good boy. Place. So right now with place, literally, I'm just sprink I just sprinkled the food on his bed. Good. Get it. It's on your bed right there. You're messy. Get your food. Good boy. The reason I'm doing this and I'm luring him over the bed and then I'm trying to make it, him get it off the bed, reason being is because I'm trying to go to reward history with the bed itself. I wanted to realize the bed produces good reward for him too. Good place. Free. Um, ideally, he'll eventually get that concept and he'll be going on his bed because he'll be looking for the food and that's when I'll reward him too because we want the place bed to be somewhere that he wants to be, not somewhere that we make him be. Good. Good. There you go, not chewing again, go crazy. Huh. Um, I do expect him to get better where he's at by mid next week. Um, usually with puppies his, with puppies his age, um, not just his litter mates, but some of the other older puppies I've worked with here, sometimes they end up um, not learning at a slower pace, but it takes, like I mentioned earlier, it takes more repetitions 
of the motions for them for it to click in their mind. And that's just because their brain chemistry isn't um, the same as the itty bitty puppies. So for these guys, and I, I mean that more so with the behavior stuff, like he's jumping um, and that sort of stuff. It just takes more on his part to learn. So it's gonna take more. It's gonna take multiple, multiple exposures for him. Whereas the puppy, it only takes a few for me to tell him no. But I, I am suspecting he's gonna get better because he already has a little bit. He just loves puppy boy so much. I'm so happy for him. I love you. You're such a good boy. Come on. No, no love that way. You don't get any attention that way. You don't. You don't. So cool. Good job, buddy. Well done. 
Like you see, he was in the middle of a sniff. Um, he was in the middle of sniffing right there, but he turned around as soon as I, I finished saying come, and he started coming over to me. Honestly, he does it outside too, even with the other training dogs around, which is pretty impressive in itself, um, because he is that people oriented, and he's like, oh, you're calling me? Yes, attention, I'm coming. Um, he's very excited about it. Let's see. Um, Hmm. What else? What else? What else? Potty training wise, he hasn't had an indoor accident. Woohoo for that. Yay. Um, he has not had a crate accident overnight. Again, yay for that. He's doing great with being outside and going potty out there. Um, so what I'm feeding him during the training session, if you were curious, is I'm actually feeding him his meals. So I pull out his regular dog food, his kibble, and I portion it out like he's supposed to have. And then I actually use that and I feed him throughout the training session. Um, I do, I do. And he takes that really well. Like you saw, he's super eager to get that food. Um, <laughs> puppies are outside playing, they're big little things. Um, but all in all, I'm really, I'm of course, I'm hoping for big improvement this upcoming week. Um, but I'm happy that he has been so willing to learn because the puppy has age. Sometimes it, they do take a little bit longer to work on some things, um, but he's really trying. And that's all I can ask for. That's all I can ask for. I'm very happy. Very happy. Um, let's see if we'll do some of our peeling before we sign off and say goodbye here. So with the healing, um, especially with him and his energy right now, I haven't introduced the leash yet. Um, obviously, he's been on leashes before. But I haven't introduced it with our healing yet. Reason being is because I'm trying to build up his understanding of the word heal. Yes. And by that I mean I'm trying to encourage him to perform the action without being told to um, or being forced to by that line, that leash. Um, so as goofy as it seems, I'm gonna I literally walk around the room and then when he's not jumping on me, not being inappropriate, when he is doing something he should be like just following next to me instead of like Instead of like dancing on me. Yes. Good. You're gonna get rewarded. Yes. A little awkward, yes. But the boy, yes. And the reason I'm doing this is because he's performing this by himself. Are you going to do this or are you being a dork today? We're being a dork today. So with, his, with him, sometimes I have to keep the food constantly down by his nose to keep him from stop jumping. Um, is that a great thing? Not really. But, I mean, is that a horrible thing? Does it mean he's a bad dog? No, it doesn't. Of course not. Um, yes. Good boy. And just like I mentioned with the crate and the play sped, by doing this off leash and rewarding him in this heel position. Do you need water, sir? Um, I'm encouraging him to build the reward history on his own accord and not because I'm forcing him through a leash. And so next week we're going to start using a leash, which at his age it may help some, but it may also cause his opposite <coughs> reflex to kick in, and I don't want that. So that's why this first week we've been just building the word history with him getting into the position by himself. But all in all, that's how he is doing, right? Um, if you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to email. You can call the office and they'll um, try to patch you through to me if I'm down there at the time. But. He is trying, he is sociable, he's not horribly behaved, he just, you know, we're just super happy to see people all the time. He's not having any potty problems. Um, crate wise, like I said, not too many issues there. Some of the obedience, he's not quite sure how to grasp it. Like I said, it's just going to take some more repetitions of him getting comfortable with me and with my asking him to do that. And at his age, um, because he's just now attempting to come out of the adolescent phase, I don't want to push him and make him do it and force him to and manipulate his body in a way that makes him do it. I want him to try to do it on his own, which is why with him I'm sticking with heavy luring 
for a bit because I want him to get comfortable performing those actions by himself and not thinking that um, everybody's going to force him to go into a sit or force him to go into a down. Um, helping him is one thing. Like earlier you saw me luring him and like patting on his shoulders to try to encourage him to down. Sometimes that works with him and sometimes it doesn't. Um, but I don't want to do that every single time. Um, reason being is because I want him to feel comfortable with people and I want him to realize that he's performing these actions because he's gotten rewarded in the past for doing them and not because we're forcing him to do them because I don't want that behavior coming out in him where he feels like he has to submit to people and he has to feel that way because then that's when you get dogs who get snatchy, right? Because they're like, stop touching me. Stop making me do stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm happy with him. He's doing his best. Um, I, I'd be happier if we saw some more improvement next week, obviously. Um, but we'll see you then. We'll see how he's going, right? Okay. Let's wrap up. Bye. I'm just going to wait him out. Huh? There you go. Good boy. I tell you, you'll be in the same part. Back to being a little bit of You say that like? You say, see you later.